history tends to repeat itself. In 1988, Hasbro released Power Master Optimus Prime to US fans and later that year, Takara had released a retooled version of that figure named Jinrai, as well as a new figure meant to combine with it called God Bomber. Now 29 years later, Takara Tomy has reintroduced God Bomber to combine with their recently released Super Jinrai figure for their Legends line. God Bomber's vehicle mode is described as a super trailer, looking like a six-wheeled sci-fi mobile command center complete with wings and artillery. The lower half has a stripe design matching that of Jinrai or Optimus Prime, while the front has a large three-panel windshield. The front panel even opens up so it may be piloted by three Titan Masters. As expected from Takara, paint apps are plentiful and well done, showing off details that Hasbro may overlook if they ever release this toy in the States. Let's all hope. It is possible to connect God Bomber's vehicle mode to Super Genrise. Simply swivel out the connector on the trailer's front bumper and plug it into the back of Genrise trailer. Sadly, this connection is only available on Genrai and will not work on Hasbro's Power Master Optimus. A base mode is possible for God Bomber. However, true to its G1 roots, some parts forming is involved. The legs need to be removed and reattached in a different position. The result is passable, but nothing to write home about. It is the smallest base mode so far and does little to impress. It can, however, be linked to other bases like Jinrise or Fort Max itself. The included Titan Master, or Headmaster in this case, is well sculpted and while it has less paint than previous Takara Headmasters, still has enough to look quite appealing. It is possible to transform God Bomber from trailer to robot mode with very little parts forming. Only the Cannon and Titan Master need be removed. It is tricky to get the arms to move without taking them off, but it can be done. The Cannon also serves as storage for God Bomber's helmet and sword. Robot mode is a very impressive sight, standing about the same size as the leader class with very little kibble showing. The face is well sculpted and with the helmet on it can be very hard to tell this is a headmaster. The paint is crisp and clean, with sculpting quite accurate to the original version. With 22 points of articulation, posability is decent, but surprisingly limited in the legs. The hip joints only have forward and backward movement, and while some transformation joints allow for an A stance, certain dynamic poses are just not possible. Another weakness in the toy can be how the arms and sword fall apart while trying to pose the figure. Nothing breaks, it's just the parts forming nature coming back to haunt us. Lastly, the way the cannon's hinge is built limits its range of movement. It will lock in on facing forward or a 45 degree angle with no holding a position in between. An interesting feature to the toy is how the legs are held on by combiner war specs. This means that any combiner wars deluxe can take the place of the legs on the figure. This tidbit cannot be found in the toy's actual instructions, but in the comic that's included with them. It's a nice feature and opens the door for a few play options. Naturally, the main draw of God Bomber is combining him with Jinrai. This combination is the main reason God Bomber is a parts former, since he needs to come apart to become armor for Jinrai. All the connections are solid and clip on with ease. The main body armor has a few clip points to ensure that it stays on, including some very small hooks in the back that can cause worry given how tightly they hold on and just how small they are. The resulting robot is truly a sight to behold. God Jinrai stands about as tall as a Combiner Wars Combiner and truly does have some heft to him. Aside from having really long legs, the proportions work nicely and the two toys are perfectly color matched. While there have been complaints on God Jinrai having trouble standing, I haven't had any issues so far. The trick is how you arrange the combiner pegs on God Bummer's legs and Jinrai's heel spurs. Arranged right will stand solidly, although he does tend to lean back a little. Jinrai retains every bit of his posability, leading to some nice posing options. Admittedly though, the ankle pivots are now a little higher than I'd like. Every accessory has a place where it can store on God Jinrai, from Jinrai's guns to God 
farmer's headmaster, who has two places to store. You don't have to worry about putting anything to the side. The wing pack has had complaints about the wings being too high, and while there is a fan mode that corrects this, I find myself preferring the Stark configuration. It's nice to know that options exist though. On its own, God Bomber is a decent figure at best, plagued by parts forming issues and limited posability. It is truly when combined with Jinrai that this figure shines. If you don't already have Jinrai or don't plan on getting the Siege of Cybertron sets Magnus Prime, God Bomber isn't really recommended. But if you have Jinrai or Magnus Prime, God Bomber is a must. Takara has already revealed a deluxe set that includes both Jinrai and God Bomber with chrome and translucent parts as well as Minerva and Cab. If you haven't gotten the set already, that would be the best way to go for it. Whether the new set is worth double dipping for remains to be seen, but God Jinrai is a worthy addition to anyone's collection. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. So until then, goodbye out there, whatever you are. <laughs>